Okay, how fast can you carve a sandcastle? So you can see the main part. It was a 44 gallon trash can with a 10 gallon trash can, a little baby one on top. Um, and I thought with a 10 gallon bucket, all I would do is do two pencils. I mean, I'm keeping this simple because it's got to go very, very fast. So two pencils, literally try and separate them at the top. And then I put a third pencil on the front because I wanted to give myself some direction. So if you, if you literally just carve the pencils out, you've, you've got a direction, you've got somewhere to go. And also altering the height of the eave where you cut the roof edge in. Um, if you make it different heights, it just gives you a bit more flavor. And it's, I think it looks more effective than doing everything uniform. We do have an awful lot of uniform people around today. Now you can see on one part I'm cutting off to the left side. Um, that was a crenellated tower, a small crenellated tower. Unfortunately, Andy was so busy doing this and rushing around that he didn't notice the camera couldn't see it. But as you can see, I cut the roofs in and then I do the staircases. So that was the same thing on every one of them. Cut the edge of the roof in, do the staircase, get it done, put some rocks in. And I do my strata rock, which is where I cut at different angles, like 25 degree angles. And we put the rocks in and then we just made sure the three pencils had some staircases or had the staircase ramps on them and you can see I'm moving from uh, um, bottom to top which is not allowed but in this particular case I was trying to get the shape I, the reason I keep disappearing from the shop was I was trying to get the shape um, to work and I didn't really know so I had to keep stepping back so um, and then putting the staircases in more rocks I didn't you see the big tool in action there I put a big window on the side um, that's how fast that is. We don't use it in lessons because once the small people get hold of it, uh, they tend to rip a hole the size of Kansas in, in the side of the sandcastle. So um, we don't use it for lessons unless, they, unless they've got some skills. So, um, but the main tool you can see I'm using all the time is the small spatula. So, and the little round tool which makes all the doors and the windows. It's just so simple to use um, and very effective. So. So it was an exercise in how fast I could go, uh, sort of proving to myself really, and just having a go. Um, but it was also an exercise in um, just using a few tools to show people what was possible. Um, and uh, if I'd have planned it better, I could have gone even faster, but uh, I didn't plan it better. And I should have had two cameras, which I didn't have either. So uh, yes, yeah, usual story, lack of planning, because it was a last minute thing. Huh, what a surprise, Andy Hancock doing something in the last minute. Shocking. Anyway, um, I had a great time doing it. It was uh, a lot of fun. And uh, my friend David, who's in the video, um, who helped me during the event, who was an absolute superstar, um, was just stunned. He, he was just stood there going, what? So it was great fun. So yes, if you can subscribe to us, that would be lovely. Click on the link and the notification bell, bing. And then you get new videos. We are gonna be making a lot more videos um, because we have a video a video guy, and uh, uh, which is Lewis Hancock Films, my son, of course, and who's a superb uh, video maker, as you can see. And um, yes, we'll be making more and more videos in the coming months, so that's really good. Now we switched to the backside, and I've, I didn't move the camera soon enough to show you how I did the thin towers, but they're just two more pencils. I mean, it's not really hard. Um, the third side, I've got some stills, which we'll put so you can see each side of it. Um, we'll put them on the video as well. And, um, but yes, make your thin windows again with just using the small spatula. Um, so in all, I did one, two, three, four, five pencils, one crenellated tower and, and one flat bit and about seven staircases. So literally all I did was is stairs, you know, tower, stairs, tower, stairs, tower, stairs, tower, stairs. Very simple. I mean, it looks fantastically complicated, but it's not. It's just um, very simple stuff. The techniques we teach every day and uh, even the police stopped by and had a look and took a picture of it. And that was actually another one, that's on another video, um, which is the crenellated tower that's hollowed out with an internal staircase. That's a separate video altogether. So, um, which will be coming out soon um, to show you how to hollow a block. And uh, yeah, there we are. So I had a great time doing it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I know it's just a fast one, but I can show some of the techniques in separate videos and I'll, we'll put the stills in, which you'll be able to see and uh, yeah, have some fun. So thank you for watching. Thank you to the 15,000 who subscribed. I really appreciate it. Uh, buy some tools, go to the beach, have some fun. And we'll see you next time on Sandcastle Snippets from sandcastlelessons.com, South Padre Island, Texas.